Ja. Man muss erst noch sagen, was... Wenn er sich nicht meldet. Wenn er sich nicht meldet, dann... Your footsteps ricochet throughout the parking level, each step a too loud announcement of your presence. You know it's perfectly safe, yet your heart pounds in your chest. You can't decide if it's excitement or terror. Over here, says Sloane, and you walk to meet him. He's not wearing his black suit and tie, for a change, but a navy blue athletic shirt under a tactical vest and harness. You've never seen Sloane kitted up for field work like this. Somehow, it makes him look even more professional. The body is a woman, either young or rich enough to look it. Her clothes are fashionable and high-end, and tasteful dead metal jewelry hangs from her wrists. You assume she was wearing earrings too, but there's not enough left of her head to tell. Behind you, you hear Zhang gasp. I thought the Bioroid was destroyed by the NAPD! It was, says Sloane. He nods down at the corpse. It's like we thought. This isn't an isolated situation. Sloan gestures at the hard suit clad sec team surrounding you. Aside from these guys here, we three are the only people who know she's dead. What do we do now, boss? Sloan found the mercs through an old Mars war buddy. This is Lieutenant Todashin, says Sloan. Todashin is a powerfully built Amerindian man with a tattoo crawling up his neck. Some sort of fanciful beast. The cybernetics and dull gray fatigues he's wearing were more functional than fashion statement. You notice he wears no insignia. Sloan knows his business, says Todashin. I'll be leaving the primary investigation into Target Alpha with him. My team is always available for rapid response if you get a fix on a subject. Target Alpha is the killer, explains Sloan. Bravo is the runner. Right, says Todashin. I have a few surprises for that little nuisance. You now understand that you are not chasing a single bioroid, but something else. Is it a new bioroid model, or a common defect in bioroid programming? With the original case closed, your investigation must move underground. You authorize, verbally, of course, with no paperwork that can be traced back to you. Expand an investigatory powers for Sloan's staff. Sloan quietly brings a pair of mercenary runners on team, setting them up with a luxury suite at a discreet hotel. You begin to put together a profile of offending bioroids. You'll find what you're after. You're sure of it. This is Dux, says Sloan, indicating a young woman in your employ. I'm Terry, she says, rolling her golden eyes. Dux is the other guy. Dux and Terry like to swap names on me and pretend I can't tell them apart, says Sloan. Tell the boss what you told me. Sure, says Dux and or Terry. I sniffed your backside and found it dusty, but there's some serious spice in the last 96. A regular party in the tubes. <sighs> what Dux is saying, sighs Sloan, is that we are now under constant cyber attack. If we don't devote resources to our defenses, we're in danger of... Like being owned like a clone in Rome, chirps ducks. <laughs> what? Speaking of the board, says Zhang, pushing the remains of her caliente spiced dumplings aside. You had not, in fact, been speaking of the board or anything related to them. You need to maintain business as usual during this thing. That means reinvesting capital. She holds her hands up, forestalling your next comment. I know, I know, I'm supposed to work for the board, not you. But I feel invested in this now. I want to see how it ends, and I don't want the board to come in and destroy you. She takes a sip of her Cedron Cola, then shrugs and grins. I mean, if they tell me to, I will, but I'll feel bad about it. No, Chief. I didn't read it. Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Warcast. And this is Gerion. And uh, this is uh, the second game from our Terminal Directive campaign. Again, spoilers. Mm -hmm. Full of spoilers. We are basically disclosing everything in the hidden 
games and uh, hidden cards and stickers. Yes, we let it all out. We <coughs> rip up, uh, we open all the packs, <laughs> ripped all the cards, and put all the stickers on there. And you have a lot of stickers on your yes, your yeah, pad. because I won the first game with evidence collection in my score area. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, the two cautions that you can see at the bottom of my pad. And I got um, a new objective, mm -hmm. uh, or not? It's not called an objective. It's something that I task can or a task, um, which now is if I tag you, uh, I do something. And uh, and so, what, what the, are the two cautions? So cautions are basically if you do stuff that you usually do, like drawing cards, clicking for credits, and things like that. Things like that. You have to open a pack. A pack. The second time you spend click to draw, not including through card abilities, reveal a pack. Mm -hmm. When your turn ends, if there are at least 20 credits in your credit pool, reveal another pack. So these are basically intended to discourage you from doing stuff that you want to do usually, like being rich. Uh, yeah. As a Wayland player, you want, usually want to do that. You want to be rich because you want to be able to land tags and scorch the opponent. And you want to draw cards. So, so um, this is stuff that is intended actually to, to keep your game in check a little bit. Um, to balance things out. Because balance things you're out, ahead yeah. now, so you, yeah. they want to slow you down a little yeah, bit with giving you some stuff. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, also, we have to rectify because last time we said it wrong. So yeah. your uh, little objective that you have here yes, is whenever I do damage, you have to do damage somehow to me, which not, you haven't done yet. Not, not tagging. I didn't do a damage. You neither ran into one of my snares or anything. So that's a pretty similar start to the yeah. first game. Yeah. Sneak it's door, turn two. Uh, Face checked all of the ice yeah. in the first round, and yeah. then second second round, I get out the sneak door yeah. and see, uh, try to get some agendas. And there we go, there is an agenda. Yeah. Found yeah. an evidence yeah. collection. Um, um, yeah. Then you trigger your ability, and then we're getting better at those Yeah, pads. we're getting better at that. So I now get to draw one card from HQ and then put whatever I want back on it. Uh, not HQ, obviously. Draw a card from RD and put one card back. Something we also did last time wrong is indeed like the count, you have to lose four games to mm -hmm. un unlock like a pack that will boost you a little bit. And so that's, I, I have one big cross on my checklist there. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, so you can ha have another task is uh, g give me three tags, or at least mm -hmm. you have three occasions, uh, instances of me giving, uh, of you giving me mm -hmm. tags. And I don't like the wording on there because it's like wow. when you give the runner a tag. Mm -hmm. So, for example, account siphon doesn't count no, technically. It's that because account siphon says you take a tag. But what about data raven, right? Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it is, but it, yeah. It could because you been. gave me a lot of tags last mm -hmm. time. So I, I think this should have been yeah. triggered already yeah. at this point. So we already getting th a lot of things wrong. And that's, <laughs> I think, something that um, Quinton from uh, Shut Up and Sit Down already mentioned. Like there's a lot of text on those things. And the text is like the wording is not always mm -hmm. very clear. It's like very complex stuff, actually. So not actually, not really like for beginners, I would say. No. I think that there would be a, they should have should have like maybe tied it to specific cards if you give tags mm -hmm. with the specific cards then yeah. or something. Actually, um, I think Alex White and one of his friends mm -hmm. from the UK they did a playthrough. Yeah, the, the podcast they, one, right? And the the, on the, streets, the I think it's called. A &R back on the street. Mm -hmm. If you haven't listened to it, go and uh, search for it. It's it's really good. It was fun uh, listening to it, and then, and they did it. Uh, with Alex as the experienced player and one of his friends coming back from being out of Netrunner for a year or something like that. And that's I think, is a really good way to play this. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. But and you have you need to have at least one person on the table who uh, knows who's, what he's who's doing. Who yeah. actually knows what he's doing and, and is able to remember the triggers of the other uh, person as well. So there's a lot of things that happened in the yeah. meantime. So I, I continue running on HQ using my sneak draw beta. I got the second evident collections mm -hmm. now. You continue mounting it up, but I found a new card in your hand, which is Lieutenant Ishin or uh, Toadet Shin, Toad Shin. I believe it's also one of the um, expansion cards that you got the, in your pack, right? Mm -hmm. In your first pack, in your first story in the pack. The first story pack that I opened because mm -hmm. I won the previous game. And so this guy is like really crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh, will we see him in this game? Do you think? Um, well, I will show I, it on the screen I, I, anyway. I, I, so I'm not sure. So we can already discuss him. So it was like uh, whenever uh, you give it the run attack, you do a meat damage. I mm -hmm. think. 
which really plays well into your uh, yes. your your goals. Yes, yes. because it uh, you can you can kill a runner with uh, four cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Seesaw Scorch with Totochin reduces him to three, and yeah. then the Scorch kills. But also you kind of like fulfilling two goals yeah. at the same time. Yeah. You're giving yeah, damage yeah. and you're making yes, you're exactly, getting tags. Exactly. So, so that's also nice. Um, I think you uh, drew two cards now, so mm -hmm. now you are opening uh, a story pack. A skinny young man with a data cord jammed into his skull is sitting in your office when you come in. You tell your secretary to call security and get no response. Eventually, you resort to slapping the young man in the face to get him to rise out of his torpor. He comes to, blinking groggily at the gun you hold in his face. Aw, oh, come on, man. No need for that. I'm ducks. Don't you recognize me? He taps at the polycarb disc in his lap, and a forest of vert graphs and cartoons flickers to life around you. Look, I warned you. Whoever's running at you is good, man. Terry would never admit it, but they're better than us. Your whole system is fragged now, man. I mean, it'll work fine, but it's just full of holes our new friend can dance in and out through. You need to do a complete purge and overhaul, man. Could take weeks to do it the hard way. Lopez, your network security chief, is a small, harried person whose gender you've never been able to pin down. Right now, Lopez is visible mostly as brown and white blur behind an enormous bank of vert displays. Results in a new iteration almost before we've implemented. In short, there's no point in purging the Trojans until we've secured the servers, and it's impossible to secure the servers until we've purged the Trojans, and... Pretty sure this is going to go on for about 30 minutes. Whispers Sloan. Short version is... Ice the frag out of the central and buy Lopez time to work. Yeah, I basically threw caution to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so this story pack is all about you being hacked. Mm -hmm. So you got a, um, a a Trojan. Yes, it's a it's a resource that I have to add to my deck uh, at the beginning of the next game. Yes, um, not, a resource, not this game, uh, but it's resource. kind of like the negative card mm -hmm. that you have to have in your yeah. in your thing. And it's kind of like a negative trap. Like if the runner mm -hmm. accesses this, uh, something good happens for the runner. Yeah. Um, so let's see how this works. You install the card in front of um, archives. Ooh, and there is Todashin. And there is... Um, you rest something there. I'm not sure what this is. A little yellowish kind of data I think it's an enigma. I think it's an enigma. Okay. Uh, anyway, give me a yeah. tag, but luckily I... Or oh, there we go. Thanks, guys. Didn't really help that much, though. <laughs> um, so you gave me a tag, but I was able to remove the tag with a crash space. But I think we forgot to make a check mark on your countdown mm -hmm. list. Um, again, we apologize for, for the misplace, but it's kind of difficult. It's There's a lot of things that you have to keep in your mind. And also, yeah, you have to play like the corset ideology of, of, mm -hmm. of strategy of playing, which is yeah. kind of like um, requires a different kind of netrun thinking, I would say. Yeah. So this guy is a huge danger for me right now. Because every ice you rest gives me a tag. I, if you create a big server with multiple ice, even if the ice is like really weak, it's still like a lot of tags that you give me. Oh, I think you might remember now. No, you don't. Ah. In retrospect, it maybe it didn't help that we turned the pads sideways. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that's true. We, 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 we did it for the benefit of the camera, of course. We, we did everything for you, dear <laughs> listeners. <laughs> okay, you're creating more servers now. It's like um, Lieutenant Todashin has his own server, but now there's a second server. I think there's like also two different versions of Todashi. No, no, actually the other. No, he gets, he gets. I think he gets upgraded yeah. with um, stickers later and on. And you had, you had a choice between this and another card, right? Mm -hmm. Another one would have been Ines Delgado. Yes, there's a. That's that's actually something that uh, I I found quite interesting. That there's an Ines Delgado on both, on sides, both sides of the yeah. game. That's yeah. really good. I was hoping for and this to come up at some point in Netrunner. I mean, they've done it in other games, right? Yeah. They've, uh, multiple cards with the same name. Yeah, definitely. And the interesting thing in Netrunner is because she's unique, like all characters. Mm. So if the if the runner has one rest or in in play, and then the cop reses, 
uh, their version. Does the runner one get trashed? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we never actually got into this kind of situation, even in our first uh, no. playthrough. But I think we but would have I played think we, it. We, we, we would have played it as the, um, the second one trashes the first. So you are playing full on Wayland uh, on, the, on this, this playthrough because it's like Todeshin is giving me tags. Mm -hmm. And now it's... Uh, oh, actually, maybe... He, does he give tags? Yes, he, he, he give. I think we, we we said it wrong earlier. I think he gives a tag whenever there's an, yeah. an ice gets raised. Yeah, exactly. And now I did an inside job on that server here, and that's going to be an illegal arms factory. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the money to trash it. Yes. I would have loved to trash it. Mm. It's it's horribly expensive to trash. It's six, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but now it gives you a card, a credit at the beginning mm -hmm. of your turn. So that's really nice economy plus... Um, Man, I have to look up what Todashin does. I'm, I'm now I'm really unsure because there's this other guy that you that mm -hmm. is kind of like a nice combo, the alt right guy. Um, well, we're gonna look this up. Let's say later on. Okay, so yeah, now you're being like you're selling illegal arms. There's like a, you know lieutenants there doing bad stuff, and then you install double advance, and it's like wow. Das ist nicht gut. <laughs> 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 I'm 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 visibly upset about what's happening there. Uh, I, uh, draw more cards. I actually, face check that ice in front of it. Let's see what you, what you have there to stop me. No breakers. What am I thinking about? Uh, Hortum. Hortum. It's an expensive one. Mm -hmm. So even if that's the you know the five three agenda. Then, um, then at least you know you. Oh, actually, you still can advance it because Hortum gives you a credit. Uh, but I got a tag now. Mm -hmm. I have to remove the tag, you know. So yeah, I think the you were right. The Todeshin guy gives you a tag whenever an ice is raised, and he combos well with this other guy, Mister Stone. Oh yeah, yeah, Mister Stone. That's the one. Which I think we're gonna see in one of the future games, or maybe this one. I'm not sure. Um, don't remember. Okay, so this is bad times for me. I'm at, at least I'm financially a bit above because now I'm at six grades and you're still at three. If that's something that you can score through, then um, then uh, you will won't have any money, but at least you will have a five three agenda. Instead, install advance, uh, install, install credit credit. Huh. Huh. And now I'm not sure any what like what's happening here. <laughs> There's so many servers to run on. No. <laughs> Should I run back in there? You're playing with me, Gerion. You're playing <laughs> with me. It's actually too long ago that I don't remember <laughs> if what's in that server. If you say you're also playing yourself <laughs> right now. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's happening yeah. here, but there's a lot of... This is a very different game from the last game. Yes. This is not... A, not it's, it's almost as if you're playing a completely different deck. Did you do any deck building in between? No, in not... Uh, I think... Um, before the third or fourth game, I think. Mm. Okay, so special order. I think I'm going to get a Corolla here. I think Corolla seems a good idea because it gives me access to HQ and R&D. Mm -hmm. There we go, yeah. Uh, of course, I don't have too much money, so I'm not sure. Maybe I will run on H HQ. Run once. Yeah. It does. It's not too expensive to run on HQ at this point. Also, I will trigger my ability if I do so. Mm. I might get back the yes. decoy, which I threw up away. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to throw this away. Um, and the next click is siphon. Oh no! Actually, last click siphon. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Okay. So the idea is that I will probably keep the tags around, but you can't can't get enough credits to scorch me probably. I, I yeah. Have you forgotten my ability? I think we forgot my ability. I do have the crash space, so like it can even protect, prevent a scorch earth, and you would have to like get mm -hmm. to like, somehow you would get to have get three credits, but you can do it maybe with a with a um, beanstalk. Yeah. But even then, I think one scorch is not enough to kill me. 
And you brought some delicious wasabi <laughs> snacks, which we were munching on all the time. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have to apologize. There's also like a huge microphone right in yes, front of your uh, card right mm -hmm. now. But yeah. Hmm. Difficult, difficult times for Yerion. You're just getting three credits. I'm discarding something. Of course, now for me, there's the question, will I keep the tags around or will I do something else? I run on the new card. And that's Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone. Oh, that was the misplay, right? Because you could have rest Mr. Stone before uh, mm -hmm. before the account siphon. So the idea is with Mr. Stone is I think you get a tag. No, whenever I get a tag, I get a neat damage as well. And that yes. is, of course, a great combo with Metodashi yeah. here. It's a great uh, yeah. semi-protection against the Count Siphon. Yeah, I should have rest him when you siphoned me. Mm. Both for the money and for the tag and damage effect. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing the Maker's Eye now that I know that there is no... I, of course, my, I, I expected this to be a snare, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, when you have three credits, I run on it and dis uh, diffuse it, perhaps. Now I found the snare. <laughs> um, and nothing. And now I, of course, removed both tags. That was a unfortunate misplay. I think you would have been in a very different situation if both of those, those guys were rest. Because I think they're like yeah. a very vicious combo as well. I forgot what the Enes card that, that was an alternative to the to Todashin was, but Todashin is, is, I, is a I, badass. I never actually considered uh, taking her because the tagging ability plays so well into my other game plan. So I <clears> trash um, trash stone now and then do another account siphon. Mm -hmm. I didn't want you to uh, rest, have an opportunity to rest stone again. So now we remember the, the ability and I offer you account siphon or a decoy and I think you will trash the account siphon, which is probably a good choice, but that's one of the bad choices that mm -hmm. you get against, yeah. against, um, against uh, Steve. And then yeah. I use my last click to remove text, yeah. Now we have so much money that I can't afford. Hmm. So now there is a second ice instead of, in, of in front of HQ, and I think that's a good choice here because HQ is very vulnerable right now. And also, like every unrest ice gives you a potential, mm -hmm. you know, further tag. Yeah. I was really lucky to draw the the crash space so early on because man, this would be so expensive without the crash space. And I mean, you have you still have um, inside jobs. Yes. But um, even then, so, you're still resting. Yeah, yeah. Still, still, I'm going to rest them. But I mean, getting getting into those servers is still going to be cheap. No, most likely. Um, okay, so this is Enes now, uh, and I, I install the Enes, yeah. which we already talked about. This is the card that, that progresses my story. If I score an agenda, I will get them to to my scoring area. So I bump into a data raven on HQ, and I don't continue running, obviously. Okay, now I start, start assaulting R&D. It's not as cheap as uh, HQ, but still cheap enough. Yeah. I realized I was over. I want to install something, but I realized that I, that would put me over a new. So I decided to undo it and um, maybe look for some MU cards. There. Don't want to get rid of the. And you're, you're basically playing just uh, the one copy of Desperado 
And three Akamatsu. Two Akamatsu. Oh, two Akamatsu. I think there's yeah. not three in a corset. That's a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's surprising how many things are not three in a corset. <laughs> For example... Um, a Kansai? So uh, yeah, also, that's, that's not surprising. Yeah, it's only... But uh, if sacrificial construct, mm -hmm. also two off. There's, there's a lot of things where it's like, what? Yeah. Okay, running on HQ again, finding an ice wall. Uh, R&D. And there's army touch. It's good. S uh, setting up uh, my economy for um, for continued for continued aggression. At some point, I probably have to get rid of Teodosheen. Yeah, but on the other hand, once all of the ice is rest, it doesn't do anything anymore. Yeah, but you have a lot of ice. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. this is. <laughs> So uh, we had uh, our our food was delivered yeah, our pizza, pizza break. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we remember correctly. I think we remember correctly yes, what the yes. board state was. So yeah, so, yeah, beefing up R and D defenses. I think that's a good choice here. Um, Todeshin yeah. is a really big tax on the runners. Mm -hmm. The older tags that it, it can give, um, removing them costs clicks and credits. It's good. Yeah. At least clicks for you with your uh, grass base installed. It's, it's still so <clears> sad <throat> that we haven't made the chuck marks on your own. You go <laughs> with the machine. <laughs> you could have completed it already twice over. Oh, something that we haven't discussed. Um, so what is the goal to remove the the Trojan cards that you will get next one? Because you get like an additional objective to remove the Trojans, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And I think it was like the seven cards installed or something? Seven ice on centrals. Mm -hmm. Whenever you install ice and there are seven ice installed on... So whenever you install the eighth piece of ice mm -hmm. while... Or a piece of ice while there are seven on centrals. Yeah. Which I'm close to achieving. Yeah, but... So you, there's already five. But I think you don't, also don't have the, the Trojans in your... Your deck, so mm -hmm. I guess that wouldn't. Do in anything. this, in this game, it 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 wouldn't matter, yes. Yeah. But it's it's a fairly easy um, thing to to achieve. Not, found. Not, not like the other couch. No. <laughs> okay, so I've got out the the decoy here, um, kind of like shutting out the sea source plan, and also giving me some more flexibility. Drawing some cards, lots of lots of drawing involved in this because there's you know there's the good cards are far in between mm -hmm. in, in this deck, so so you kind of have to draw a lot of yeah. There's basically no tutoring, nope, no accelerated card draw, so nope. and you know a lot it's, of the good cards are multiple, so you know there's a yeah. second sneak door I didn't need right now, and you get a break here, Garyon. You get a yes, and there's the break. hostile takeover. Now I, I, we remember correctly how mm -hmm. this works. So I get two credits and a bad pop. So this is actually a huge economical boost for me as well. But I really like, for example, like you have this ice in front of R&D and that's, ugh, I'm scared to run there now. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have Archer in my deck. Yeah. So no, now every every piece of ice is an Archer. There's <laughs> Tobus and Archers and Data Ravens everywhere. I mean, Data Ravens is the least horrible thing, but even Todashin, Data Ravens, like you will get... Uh, two tags. You yeah. will get two tags or one tag. It's You will get tags for mm -hmm. sure. So I'm like, okay, let's let's make sure that's not an Archer. And that's, of course, a nice one. <laughs> uh, beautiful. So that's that's a relief for me because probably I will run there with a make as I mm -hmm. yes. It's not even that expensive for me to get through, so I will get three cards. Score, and that's going to be it. Yeah. So hmm, I think there was a misplay here at the very end because I had Ines, and I scored the last agenda. Mm -hmm. And we counted it as, okay, I scored Ines, so to speak, but there was no window after it for me to, to add Ines to my score area. 
Okay. Yeah, that's true because the game immediately ends when you are on seven points. Yeah, because Enos is like an ability that you have to trigger on the same turn, so mm -hmm. to speak. So I think we're going to play it as if I scored yeah. Enos, but yeah. I think in hindsight yeah, this was a yeah. bit of a misplay. We yeah. should have played it probably yeah. another game. Oh, well, you know, a little, yeah. little misplay there. But yeah, so now we both won a game. Mm -hmm. We both advanced our, our story. Ob objectives. Uh, you also get those cautions now. Mm -hmm. So our pads are filling up fairly quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Which I think is a good thing. Yeah. It's, uh, that's the, uh, uh, apart from the, from the scoring problem we had in the first playthrough. Yeah. The fact that uh, you had your pad almost completely filled and I had basically nothing on my pad. Yeah, yeah. That was really frustrating. Yeah, not only is the balance makes everything so much yeah. worse because the other guy yeah. doesn't get the story, doesn't get any yeah. stickers to play around. And, the and the card that you get when you are behind as a runner, when you lose your fourth game, is not that great. Mm, not it's, great. It's not that great. Yeah, we're going to see what happens mm -hmm. if we're going to see this card uh, throughout this playthrough later on or not. Uh, we're going to move on to the third game where mm -hmm. we're going to learn about the story from the runner side, how it continues. And I think the next game is going to be filled with a lot of cautions. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> see you next time around, yeah. guys. And as always, <laughs> hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and yeah. get in the car! Shit on me. It is the hottest day of the year, so certainly a great time to stay indoors and edit Netrunner videos. If I'm looking as if I'm sweating, that's because I am. So it's time for our daily uh, shout outs to Patreon supporters. And today's supporter is none other than Lucas E. Boagan, who joined us about a year ago or so and has been supporting us ever since. Thank you for your support, Lucas. I appreciate a lot. Uh, so if you, dear listener, also want to show support us, you can always visit our campaign down here at patreon.com slash hack the planet. Otherwise, see you next time around, guys.